This is Twit. Would you kind of consider designing for material design just is it is it a niche at this point, or is it a necessity for uh, for people developing for Android? Would you say? Um, I would say at this point that it's probably a necessity uh, because this thing is happening, and it's been happening sort of since Hollow, but really, especially now with Material Design, um, I feel like design has become a selling point on the Android platform. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like good design is becoming the baseline uh, of expectation with users, which is awesome. Um, I think that's great as a designer, obviously, uh, but it's just good to see good design being recognized by users. So yeah, I do think that to an extent it is the baseline. Now, in, in terms of that, if, if it becomes the baseline and you're taking something that's existed and you know kind of merging the design of an application that's pre-existing and making it material, is that limiting when you approach it from a design standpoint or is it um, does it make the, the design process a little easier because you have this set of guidelines to work from? I mean, is there, is there a maneuverability to be original in your designs? Yeah, I think um, I wrote a while ago about branding and material design, and one of the big points there was just that the guidelines are uh, more of a playbook than a rule book. So you look at them, and they're good for certain quick decisions and heuristics about how to approach certain design problems, but um, they don't—they aren't prescriptive. Uh, you know, like if if two apps use material design and they come out looking exactly the same, that's not material design's fault, right? So that would be the designer's fault. Um, so you just have to consider every app, and I think there's a lot of room for making it your own and adapting it to uh, to your needs. So in Nova, for example, we have the icon layout screen, which has uh, you know has the toolbar and a sheet to edit your options, and then there's a window into the desktop. So there's no you know nothing in Material Design says that you're allowed to peek through the interface to the home screen, but that's what works for the design, and I think that it works as a design. So yeah, I think there's plenty of maneuverability. Yeah, I think that was the big question when we first heard about material design last year, which was, you know, if there are guidelines and everybody conforms to those guidelines, are all, you know, apps of a particular type going to look the same? And I have seen, actually, right. a lot of apps that look, that could be, I mean, for all intents and purposes, they could be completely interchangeable. They just have different text you know, in, in those particular areas and stuff. <laughs> right. But it's been, but it's also been very interesting to see how bigger brands take the material design spec and respect it, uh, but also still kind of maintain their, their brand, um, kind of their brand image, you know, uh, as right. well and differentiate themselves in that regard. And then you end up with this kind of evolved uh, design that feels at home, but still feels like its own entity. Um, and I... Personally, I'm sure I'm pretty sure you agree with me because uh, you you do a lot of uh, you know design in this world. But I really do feel, and some people in chat room don't don't agree with this, uh, but I do feel like it's heightened the kind of uh, design maturity, or I don't know what the word is, but I feel like apps more more often than ever than I've ever seen are looking and feeling like design was really taken uh, seriously, and not and not that it, I just had a great idea for an app, but I had a great idea for an app, and I had a great starting point on how to make it look good and familiar um, so right. that when people pick it up, they, they kind of understand the flow and understand how it works because uh, they followed those, those rules. Yeah. And I think um, going back to the guidelines, I mean, there are parts, um, so, you know, using system fonts and uh, following certain paradigms to make things predictable, that's part of making it appealing to users. Um, but yeah, like I said, design is becoming a selling point, and um, it's really cool to see that big companies or big apps um, not only adopting material design and kind of refreshing their interfaces, but also advocating for it. So yeah. you're seeing articles from uh, like Feedly and Trello um, writing about their experience with transitioning to material and how it helped them and why it's good for users. Mm-hmm. Yeah, agreed. Um Let's see here. What was one question I had? Has Google has Google done a good job making material design uh, achievable for pre Lollipop OS? Like I know there's there's you know apps have been released that adhere completely to material design if you're running running Lollipop and have some material design aesthetics on pre Lollipop devices. But just as an example, there's a library um, that I discovered on Reddit by Ray Fam. It's called Material Library. It's an open source library that Ray created that facilitates specifically 
um, duplicating kind of some of these more advanced material design touches on pre-lollipop devices. Has Google gone far enough in providing these kinds of tools, or do you think they could do better as far as that's concerned? Um, I definitely do think that they could do better. Um, it's kind of up to developers right now on how to degrade gracefully as you go backward uh, through the platforms. Um, certain things like having the nav drawer go under the status bar or floating action buttons, things like that. Um, Google doesn't seem to have provided uh, tools that are accessible enough for developers. Um, App Compat goes a long way. Mm -hmm. um, it does help with a lot of stuff, but fortunately, on the other side of that, there's a community who's willing to make libraries like this to help other developers, um, you know, fill in the holes that mm -hmm. Google has left so far. Yeah, and I mean, mind you, I'm not a developer, but just looking through um, through this, the material library, I was actually pretty impressed. I was like, wow, yeah. that's awesome. An open source library. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff in there that developers can pull from and, and use um, and benefit from. Profit, as they say. Um, so very cool stuff. But um, yeah, awesome work with uh, Nova Launcher 4. You've also done Today Calendar, and you've been involved with that uh, since since its release, right? Um, um, so the redesign that I came in for uh, launched in beta in September, that's and I've been involved right. since then. So Awesome stuff. Um, but I've also got the all-cast redesign, which is in beta right now. Um, so I think that'll be going stable soon. Um, and a couple of other things. Uh, Feed Me, which is uh, Jack's new oh, app developer right. of Today Calendar. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I've got a couple of other projects. Um, me and Franco are working on something pretty cool. Uh, uh, Franco but, of uh, Franco, uh, Franco, Franco Fra Francisco yes. Franco. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Well, that's awesome, man. It's so cool that you've kind of you kind of have this this uh, this aspect of Android that uh, people are are turning to you to uh, to help them design uh, their apps in this regard. That's awesome that you've been able to do that. Uh, and you're the you're the right guy for the job. You know this stuff about as well as, as good as anyone. So uh, great work. <laughs> 